on it. We're on a schedule. Are we shooting just, anything or not? Just, 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 just hold on one second. Just hold on. Please, please hold on. Have patience, Terry. Have patience. Hold on. I'll tell you just in a second. Hey, he, he's coming. He's coming. Shoot this. Shoot this right now. Shoot this right now. Not too close to me, though. I want evidence on this. He's, hey, Lawler, i got to ask you a question. What? what do you think you're pulling down there in Memphis? I told you somebody was going to get even with you for what you did to Kane and what you oh, did to wait, me. Wait, wait, what are you yeah, doing? you baseball batted Randy Hales' car. Hold it, hold it. They're going to put you away. You're a criminal. What are you doing? You're like doing an interview here for I have, I have a camera here because I want to make sure you don't assault me and I have to sue you because they're going to put you away sooner or later, big king of Memphis. Is that right? How they're going to put you hey, away for Jesus, me. Hey, Jesus, wait a minute. Jesus, get hold up. Get up. Film their face. Hey, get up. That's the giant king there. Boy, <laughs> set up by Cornet is what happened on that thing. No Dave. doubt, and I, Randy had to had to have that oh, put together. There. I'm really disappointed in Randy for and that something being a part of that. You gotta get out of the way, Missy. You're gonna get hurt. He didn't oh goodness! Oh boy! Well, it's caught between the wall and that door. There's one of the directors on, of WWF Raw, Dave. There, that's uh, uh, that's she's there. absolutely an un, un yeah. call for situation right there, and and Randy, Randy, uh, should, uh, well, that that, that giant king. That? Well, the awesome. match is coming up Tuesday right, night at the Tuesday Madison. Night, that's that's right. already booked. Lawler's here, I understand. Do we have the parking lot camera set up? Yeah, there. Right. Yeah, what is right. There's uh. It's uh, Stacy with him getting out of the car. He's got a neck brace on it. Oh, neck brace on what that. is this? My and goodness gracious. What in the world? And his arms in a cast? Oh, my. Well, I haven't seen Lawler since last week with a windshield breaking yeah, incident. And all that. of a sudden, he, of course, he had to do Raw on, uh, on Monday night. And then the, the incident that we had heard about, but we just saw that with you for the first time, the uh, videotape of it with Cornette and the Giant King that uh, Randy introduced at uh, Rumble on the River down on July 4th. And they're, are they bringing him this uh, way? Maybe we can get, make way to get him on in the, uh, the studio here and get a comment or two from uh, Jerry and Stacy about the situation. I got a feeling he is not going to be a happy man at all no, he doesn't when look he happy comes through those doors right now. I tell and you, we got the no wonder for Tuesday night, and I, I don't know, I hope Jerry can... Well, I don't know how you can make it looking like that. I don't either. But no wonder, Randy, uh, and, and Randy, I know you're listening to this up here, and I'm sorry, uh, you know, uh, we're friends, but no wonder you locked yourself in the in the booth after this yeah. right here. Uh, still yeah. trying to get uh, Jerry this way, sort of difficult. Uh, Lost the camera uh, have him in, uh, in, in the wheelchair, but uh, he's nearby. So, uh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. they tell me that he's very close to a studio right now. Here they go. They're bringing him in. Uh, let me let me come around here and talk to him. For okay. this there he comes. Okay. Well, this is a it's a disgusting sight after seeing what we saw, Jerry and uh, Stacy. We we just saw the videotape of what happened after uh, after Raw uh, the other night. Well, you know. I mean, it, it, that you say that's a disgusting sight. Well, I want to tell you that this right here, to me, is an embarrassing sight. I've, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm at a loss for words as far as the situation with, with Randy Hales. Why Randy Hales uh, doesn't want me to be a part of Power Pro Wrestling was beyond me. I don't know why Randy Hales had to go out and find this seven-foot, four-inch freak and crown him as the new king of Memphis is, is something that I don't understand. But now, Randy Hales, uh, you know, I guess you've accomplished your goal. I guess you're going to uh, uh, go ahead on Tuesday night and, and, and have your new king of wrestling and the biggest smile on your face down there with your new company, Power Pro Wrestling. And, and... Oh, here's Randy. Randy? This is just pitiful. Yes, I, it is. I, I agree. Pitiful. And it's all your fault. I don't feel sorry for you, Jerry Lawler. And I don't feel sorry for Stacy because what the whole thing is, Lawler, that you should have realized your time is up. You should have realized when I crowned the new giant, you should have looked at him seven foot tall. And no, you didn't have a chance. But you were sitting at your house on one at Grove Road, Lawler, and your ego is so huge, you came in and you busted 
the most important TV show that I've ever done in my life, and now you tried last week, you busted my windshield, and so you paid. I don't feel sorry for you if you'd have gone out the way you should have gone out, if you should have just called it quit when it was time to call it quit, that would have been out. And now I feel sorry for the people that supported you for the years because now you're a joke. You're a joke in that thing. So I gave you the opportunity to be here. Now, get out of my studio. Get out of my studio. That's Randy, not from you. Randy, that's... Okay, Randy. Are you real proud of yourself right now? I mean, do you feel like you've accomplished everything you set out to do? Well, I'm just doing what I think I have to do, and you not being a part of Power Pro Wrestling is the best thing for this company. It's the best thing for this company, and you could have just gone out, but it's your fault. It's not my fault. It's not this fault. I gave you the opportunity to say, will you say goodbye to your fans and then get out of the studio? I got important stuff to do here, and I got to go back to the booth. Okay, so now, so now you think that you have a new king for Power Pro Wrestling, right? Seven foot tall. Seven foot the tall. The most awesome wrestling wrestler ever. And you think that by making that telephone call to Jim Cornette and having that big goof jump me up in New York, you think that that finished me off, right? That finished off. You started it. You broke the windshield. You could have killed me with the bat, man. <laughs> well, you know what? You got it wrong, Randy. I didn't start it. You started it by trying to crown a new king. Well, but I'm going to tell you something. No, you started it. But you know what, Randy? I'm going to finish it. Because look, you know what? There's an old saying. You can't keep a good king down. And I want to show you a little something, Randy. Look at this. Oh, goodness. Wait a minute, Randy Hales. That's not a real cast, is it, Randy Hales? Oh, look out. He's got it. Rolls him in the ring. are flying off his shirt. Oh. oh, my goodness. Remember, this is television, guys. Oh. Yeah, be careful there. Oh, boy. But I tell you what. Randy's almost export, Dave. With all of this, oh, my goodness. Oh. Waller's trying oh, to get boy. him. Well, he's got his, he's, a, he's got him stripped down to the boxer shorts there. And... Please, King, that's far enough. Yeah, Randy's stripped. He's well, falling in. Boy. Jerry, Jerry, the fans say. <laughs> the King, with a little misdirection here for Mr. Hales, takes control of the situation, and somehow we were wondering... My goodness, is this the way it's going to end? What about Tuesday night? But I guess you pretty much answered that question. I'm going to tell you something. It ain't over, but Tuesday night it is going to be over. Tuesday night, the world will realize there is only one king of Memphis, and I am him. And Randy Hills, the other piece of unfinished business is I'm going to save this chair till Tuesday night. And I swear to God, you'll leave the Mid-South Coliseum in this chair. I promise you that. Tuesday night at Malice in the Palace, the King will be there. He'll be going against that giant King, the big, huge guy. You saw him on the videotape a little bit earlier. Let's, uh, let's take us a break here, fans, and regroup. We'll be back. There's lots more of the Power Hour to go. Don't go away. <laughs>